Hey guys, Crater Cuber here. Today, I'm going to be teaching you five ways on how to stay motivated to cube during quarantine. Really quick before we start the video, I just want to say, quickly hit that subscribe button and comment down below saying that you subscribed, and I'll try to respond to as many of you as I can. Okay, so guys, the first tip I have for you is to learn a new ALG set. So, for example, let's say I was in the process, let's say I was like averaging like 30 or whatever, and I didn't know full PLL. Well, just learn some full PLL. And if you don't know, really know how to learn algorithms, or you're not good at it, I have a video on my channel that shows how, um, how, to, how to learn algorithms quickly and efficiently so that you can learn any algorithm in under five minutes on my channel. So go check it out after this video. But yeah, like learn a new algorithm set. So like for me, this summer, right? Um, I've been averaging consistently about 20 for almost a year now, and I've just really wanted to get sub-20, and I realized that the pushing point for that would probably be full OLL. So, at the beginning of the summer, I told myself that I would learn full OLL by the end of the summer, and I completely ended up forgetting about it for like most of the summer. But then, those la that last week of summer before school started, I remembered, wait, I have to learn full OLL. So... I grinded it out, and three days later, I now know full OLL, and I am much better off for it, and I still keep cubing. So, yeah, that is the first tip. Learn new algorithms. Okay, guys, so the second tip that I'm going to give you is not really a common one that a lot of people would recommend, but it definitely does work. If you're a person who doesn't really buy cubes, new cubes often, then a good way to do it, a good way to stay motivated, is to get a new cube. Just getting a new cube, I don't know why, but for me at least, because I don't get new cubes very often, so for me at least, getting a new cube, is, like, it just makes me want to keep cubing. So, yeah, that's another tip. Um, and yeah, honestly, it also kind of plays into the last tip, where if you get a new cube that you don't know yet, you could spend some of your time trying to learn how to solve it, and that will also give you a lot more stuff to practice, which will get you a lot more interested in cubing. So that's the second tip. Okay guys, so the next tip is an, uh, one that you didn't, probably didn't think would show up, but it is to attend a competition. Now you're probably thinking, okay, well, you're probably thinking one of two things. Either, okay, so competitions like where I live are open, but why would I go to one? What's the whole point of quarantine? If you're just going to competitions or competitions are already in open like in my case that's why a thing called online competitions exist there are multi there are many different online competitions such as cubing at home cubing royale and a lot of a lot of others that take place online it's like they live stream it and then you just can send in your results and stuff and sure you don't get the whole uh, like interaction part of a competition but if you hop on a call with some friends who are also cubers who you normally see at competitions, then it can be a really fun experience. Whoa. And even if you do not do that, um, sorry for that loud noise, even if you do not hop on a call or whatever, it's still really fun. I have done uh, cubing at home in the past, and it is a really good experience, and it helps me stay motivated. So yeah, that's my, sec that's my third tip. Go to online competitions. Okay guys, so the shout out winner from last the last video was Cats and Cubes. So go check out their channel. Make some pretty cool content. And later in this video at some point, I will put what you have to do for the next challenge. So yeah. Okay guys, so my fourth tip has to do with social media or YouTube, mainly YouTube. And my fourth tip is to start a YouTube channel or to watch like YouTubers who do cubing, such as Creator Cuber, perhaps. But other than that, um, like big YouTubers like Cubing Encoded, Cube Self Hero, Tingman, and a bunch of other people make amazing content about cubing that keeps me motivated to keep going, and it probably will work for you too. Or you could start your own YouTube channel, which will give you an excuse to cube, well, not excuse to cube, like a reason to cube other than just to cube, but it'll also be to um, like appeal to an audience 
and yeah so another way to do it but make sure it's a cubing youtube channel obviously otherwise there's not really a point um like if you're trying to stay motivated to cube i mean um but yeah basically make a youtube channel because then you'll kind of be for because you'll kind of force yourself to upload which will make you cube and then in a way that'll get you more interested in cubing so that is my fourth tip now on to the fifth and final tip okay guys so the final tip is actually just if you're not having fun don't do it basically if you're trying to stay motivated to cube because you can not because you want to then you're kind of missing the point cubing is supposed to be fun it's supposed to be a nice hobby to relax and enjoy yourself however if it's seeming more like a chore than a hobby then at that point it's not even worth it anymore so at that point just put the cube down do something else for a while like a few weeks or whatever come back to it see how you feel see if you want to keep going okay if you don't well there you have your answer if you do well then you can now well then at that point you'll know that you want a cube so you'll be more motivated to cube and yeah okay guys be sure to check out this video guys that is going to be the end of the video hope you guys enjoyed be sure to like subscribe for more and i will see you all next time bye